Hey guys, I'm back again with another uh, tutorial about uh, particle flow in 3ds Max. Uh, this week we're going to be doing uh, the icicle tutorial and uh, how to make icicle with particle flow. Uh, this is the what, we, what you guys see in here is the final result. I'm going to show you just another uh, render of what we're going to do. This is a render of uh, the final output, uh, and uh, we're going to be aiming to get uh, this effect here. And actually, and this is another version of it. This one here is with the uh, an environment map uh, plugged in, and this one is now without the environment map. So you can choose either one you want to do. Uh, they are both uh, uh, ice materials, and this one is kind of a thick one, and this one is kind of a uh, transparent one. Uh, so I'm gonna show you the particle flow that here. And it's really a very simple flow. We get just one win, uh, one event in it. And all of it, if you don't like the shape here, you gotta just uh, put new seed, and you're gonna get new shapes or a new distribution. Uh, if you wanna scale it. So we're gonna try to do this effect today, right? What I have in this scene here, I have this object. It's just for a show. There is nothing. It's, it has no purpose really. So I'm gonna just hide it. And I have this object here. That's the emitter. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to recreate this effect. So I'm gonna just turn off the whole thing. I'm gonna just keep it here for reference. I'm gonna split my windows. I'm gonna put one for particle flow. The other one for my uh, viewport here. Okay, so we're gonna go create a new particle system. We're gonna get an empty flow, get a new birth event, why uh, we don't want them to be born over time. We want them just to be born once and stay there. So we're gonna emit and stop at zeros. And I'm just 34 particle right now. I'm gonna add the append operator. I'm gonna add the position object. I'm gonna pick my plane here. I I choose a couple of faces so I can use them as uh, as you can see here. I chose a couple of polygons here, just random ones, and I'm gonna change the location here to. Uh, selected faces I want to do some separation between them I'm going to put like 5 uh, what else? I think this is it here I can like the diameter but there is no need to because I'm not going to move it anyway uh, what else? I'm going to add the shape and operator shape Actually, if we just get display text, change it to geometry here. No, right here. Geometry. I thought you're gonna play with the scale here. And added the append operator scale. Right ones. And we change it to 50. It. No. No, no, I'm not going to constrain it. I'm going to just scale it in the Z, and that's basically what we are aiming for. 
but we don't want that we want our own geometry to come down from here so I'm gonna go I'm gonna just uh, turn off the shape here I'm gonna go to the standard primitive I'm gonna get a cone some more uh, segments to it mm, but we're gonna do what else we're gonna add the needed poly on top of it I'm gonna choose this polygon right here I'm going to delete the bottom one I'm going to choose this polygon and I'm going to hit tessellate again to give me more resolution I'm going to select these and I'm going to add the noise modifier to it and so I'm going to do like 5, 5, 5 I'm going to lower I think that's good enough. Now I'm gonna go back here. I'm gonna delete my shape. I'm append my operator. I'm gonna put a shape instance. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna get shape instance. I'm gonna move it up here. I'm gonna add it. As you can see, it's already backward and it's way. So, what you're gonna do in add the rotation and operator, I'm gonna add the rotation operator. What is it? It's right here. I'll put it right. Right now, it's random 3D. It's already kind of a cool effect if you can get it <laughs> somehow. I'm gonna just lower the scale very quick here. Yeah, some cool shape here. It looks like a tree. Anyways, what do we what we need? We uh, we need the uh, word space. And uh, let's see which one. Not this one. I think it's the Y. Yep. I'm gonna put 180 on the Y. I'll um, put out the versions of 180 and then I restrict it to just uh, I'll stick it to Z I'll stick it to Z and then no. yep, Z now let's get back down to our scale so it's now gonna do some uh, variation on our scale let's see 20 here, 20 down there and that's like 150 here mm, it's too much Still. ok well we are getting there so. change from here to centered and this is it that's our effect right here and we got our uh, icicles it wasn't hard let's so just try to make it a little bit better okay and uh, what else do we need here I think they are too thick. I'm gonna just go back, back to 20 and 20. Now I said 20. Okay, just lower the height. I'm gonna go to the position object here. 
I'm gonna try to get me better. Now we need to apply new material to our see try to find the material to our to our icicles. So we're gonna sort it here and gonna raise it up. Okay. I'm gonna turn this one down. I'm gonna get my material palette here. Well, this is the material that I made. And for some reason, I don't have a preview for it. Well, this is the icicle material. It's really a simple one, there isn't much to it. So, let's just redo it from scratch. So, I'm gonna get the material, mantle ray. I'm gonna get to icon design one. I'm gonna get. Uh, uh, I'm gonna leave that alone. I'm gonna get the salt geometry preset. I'm gonna put turn this one down. Actually, I'm leave it 25. Uh, what else do I need to change here? I need to uh, special effects. I need give it a max distance of 50, say 5. And color, I'm gonna put it like this here. And I'm gonna turn off the skip reflection on the inside, reflect lights, and uh, just in case I want, I just keep it like this. Okay, and uh, what else do we need? Mm. Now we need to apply a map to the Reflection and then add mob, uh, not the reflection, but actually the fade the color, the faded color. Ah, oh, I think I was missing my old old material. Just a second. Okay, that's why I was wondering nothing changed here. Okay, so let's do it again. I'm gonna get solid geometry. Okay. I'm gonna leave it at 1.5. Oh, and special effects. I'm gonna change the. There's not even an option. That's the one that I want. I'm gonna turn off special effects. I put the max dimension fade color. Say up to five. Color. I want it to be blue. Okay. I wanna turn off the skip reflection. I think this is it from this uh, one here. Now I need to plug a map here to the. No, no, I don't wanna plug it. What did I plug? Yeah, I don't wanna plug anything here. I'm gonna just turn it down to like blues. Okay. I'm gonna grab this map here. This map is just a gradient with the blue and color one and color two and the light blue with the bottom and the second color. I'm gonna move it over here. I'm gonna apply it to my uh, okay, reflection color fade. I'm gonna apply it here. And I'm gonna get a bump map. I have a map here. Let's just say one. Get the image. I get this map here. I'm gonna turn it back to four four. I'm gonna apply it to this one here. And I'm 
gonna change. I'm gonna put this one to minus 0.5 and let me preview it. And this is it. I'm gonna apply it to my cone. I'm gonna render it under my cone and see what I'm gonna get. And this is it. You can take it down. Now I'm gonna add this again. I'm gonna add it to the environment map to get a different effect. But I'm gonna render it now. And that's what I'm gonna get. Alright. Now I'm gonna get my uh, particle viewport. I'm gonna append operator. I'm gonna add the material static. And I'm gonna. plug this material on it. Okay. okay. I'm gonna unhide all. I'm gonna hide this selection here. I have a light here too. It's uh, an area light, a mandatory area light. Does shadow retrace shadow and on the spotlight parameter I uh, take it the overshoot and let's see uh, what else I have. Let me go to the environment and effects. I have no exposure exposure control and nothing. I have no Mr. Physical Sky, but uh, I'm not gonna use it. I'm gonna put the right here and let's render this effect and see what you're gonna get. And this is it, or it is your icicle right there. You can try to get a different, different shape. So, I'm go to the position here. I'm get just a new one. I'm gonna clone this one. And I'm gonna render it. this is it well I guess you guys uh, I hope you guys liked it and uh, subscribe and if you have any issues or you have a better way no better way in how to do it and I'm more than happy to hear you guys out guys out and uh, just uh, hit, me, hit me up with the comment or anything if you guys want any kind of effects or something because I'm really kind of struggling trying to find what kind of tutorial I should put out there it would be nice if I know what people want or what you guys want to achieve and I can help you out and show you how it's done and uh, thank you